welcome to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and um, I'm here to do my like pickups. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a weekly thing. I think this is gonna end up being a thing where uh, if I get a bunch of movies, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a pickup video for them, uh, show you guys what I got. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be. I I just want a group of movies and. These here are like 23 of them, I believe. So I think that's a good amount to talk about. Um, I just don't want to get like, do a pickup video and just have like one or two movies to talk about. So we've got a pretty good amount because I went to the Dollar General this week. Um, Dollar General last year had the same thing that they're doing this year, which is uh, like buy one, get one, free half off sale or something. It's really strange. It's like, uh, it, it, what they do is it's already half off when you buy one. So say you pick up a movie, it's going to show up as like two fifty instead of $5. So it shows up as two fifty and the, and the thing, then you get it half off that plus like you end up spending basically a dollar twenty four a piece. It's it's crazy, uh, but a lot of people have been going and a lot of people have been picking stuff up. And so I was watching some of the videos that people were doing and some movies I I got because I saw some people's videos afterwards. Some I got because I just I don't have them. And um, so let's uh, let's begin. We're gonna go in alphabetical order now. I'm gonna go in order of the I have eight that I got from one Dollar General. And then I'll tell you a story right after I do this one. So this is the first eight I got. This is, I got this on, um, Sun, yeah, Sunday. Just Chronicle, the uh, director's cut. Um, you can see that right there. It's basically the director's cut. It uh, has two, it has both versions, um, the theatrical and the extended director's cut. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Some deleted scenes as well and things like that. Which I always think is a little weird if you already have deleted scenes of an extended cut because isn't adding more scenes like that the like you're, you're adding the deleted scenes already? So there's deleted scenes that you still didn't put in the movie even though you had the extended cut? Like, anyway, just silly little things like that. All right, anyway. Next is Dude Where's My Car, which has no special features except for like a trailer. But, you know, I love this movie. You know, it is a guilty pleasure of mine. I think it's hilarious. I'm gonna watch it tonight. I haven't seen it in forever. So, there you go. I, uh, Dude Where's My Car. Next is Life of Pi, which I have not seen, but I can't wait to see because it looks amazing. And that's the main reason I got it is because, I mean, look at that. These kids hanging out with a tiger. Everything, it's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Next is Oblivion, which I don't have. Um, I just got the other Tom Cruise movie uh, in on Blu-ray, but I don't have this one. It's another sci-fi one, but it's got Morgan Freeman. And the coolest thing about this is it's got um, feature commentary with Tom Cruise and the director. So I always like Tom Cruise commentaries. Like I listened to him in um, Jerry Maguire and he was pretty interesting to, to hear his stories. So, you know, something I'm, I'm interested in checking out. Next is Paul Unrated. Um, feature commentary it's got, uh, which I'm guessing is going to be with Greg Matola, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost, most likely. Um, but, you know, I'm just interested in this one because, uh, like, I've seen it years ago, and I thought it was okay. It wasn't hilarious. Um, Seth Rogen plays Paul, the, vo the voice of Paul, and it's got, like, Sigourney Weaver, so it's got a little bit of, like, evolution stuff to it. Um, but... It looks entertaining again. Like I have not seen it in forever. Maybe I'll um, maybe it'll it'll crack me up. It won't blow me away, but it'll crack me up at least. Next is the place behind the place beyond the pines. Um, 
I don't know too much about this movie. I've heard it's really good. Um, Ryan Gosling is spectacular. Bradley Cooper has never been better. Um, Eva Mendez, Roy Le or Ray Liotta. I mean, some pretty awesome cast. I don't know who the director is. Never heard of him. You know, interested in checking it out. Maybe it, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a good movie. I don't know. We'll see. Next is West Side Story. Once again, never seen it. Don't don't kill me. Um, I know about it. I know it's kind of like the Romeo and Juliet story, um, but with like gangs, and then a lot of other people like redid that too. Like uh, the movie Thrashing was inspired by this movie, and so was um, Airborne. You know these great movies that I watched, but it's like. You know the brother and and the the two people are against each other in some kind of way, and the guy falls in love with the sister of the or a cousin or whatever you know whatever you want to say it of the uh, person that uh, that they hate you know so it's interesting ideas and stuff and I would love to see them do like a horror f movie of that like like a vampires. Um, yeah, Romeo and Juliet story. Something like that. I think I've had an idea for that before, but never, never did it. Anyway, The Wolfman is the last, uh, last one of those that I got. So that's pretty cool. All right, so this, I'm gonna, before I dive into this, and I'm also gonna show you my Best Buy pickups that I did as well. Um, but today, um, I went to back to the old the Walmart I want to go to. I wanted to pick up uh, twelve more to make it twenty, and basically, like I said, it's like a dollar twenty five a piece. So, you know, it goes out to a little over twenty five dollars or something for twenty of them, and I think that's a pretty good deal. And so, I was like, you know, I want um, I want uh, I want to get twelve, so I'm gonna go to back to my, the one I was at, and I was looking through the D, the Blu-rays, and I was just like, it's just nothing I want, you know? Like, I'm not gonna get stuff just to get it. I, I want, you know, I wanna see what I what I can get. So, I decided there's two other Dollar Generals in my, uh, you know, in my town. So I went to one all the way, where is it? Um, I went all the way out to Grove, Carter's Grove, and they're, they said they didn't have it. They just said they weren't doing the sale. Um, I think they're wrong. So I may go back tomorrow and see if I can get a few more. I might try to get 10 more um, so I can get 30. Because um, I saw a bunch I really wanted at, that weren't at, at another one. So I was like, you know. Uh, but I brought them up and then the lady said she they weren't doing it. And I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to get anything then. And so I left, then went to another one. And they said they didn't, they weren't going to be able to get any, or they weren't, they weren't doing it either. But I was like, you know what? I, I came all the way out of here. Let me just check it. And if not, I'll just, I'll buy one or two or something, you know, um, from here. And I was trying to figure out which ones I wanted to buy. And then they rang them up and they were, you know, the price so I have this feeling I'm gonna go back over there um either see that one lady who was just kind of I don't know like the dollar general people that I meet have been like aside from the one that I went the first one I went to everybody was super nice but most of the time they're, they're just kind of bitchy and so I just did not did not like them at that one store that I'm gonna go back to tomorrow so I'm hoping they're not there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a bunch, see what happens. If uh, if it works, um, I'm gonna go pick up a bunch more, you know. So if it doesn't work, I might actually just pick up a couple because there's a couple I really really wanted. So I guess we'll see. Um, but um, anyway, here we go. So starting with uh, this is alphabetical order again. Any given Sunday. So, I've never seen this movie, but I met a guy that's in this movie. Um, 
Is he listed in here? Probably not, because he's not... Yeah, he's not listed here. But I met this guy. He said, um... He... he Oliver Stone was a really nice director, he said. And, like, I mean, I don't think he was just blowing smoke. Like, he had an actual thing that we went into about it. Like, Oliver Stone really just knows what he wants and stuff as a director. And just a really good director. So, there you go. Um, Arrival. I've been wanting to see this movie. Um, I know a lot of people that are really into Amy Adams and stuff and think she's amazing. Jeremy Renner is, is great. Forrest Whitaker, I mean, you can't, can't go wrong with that. Um, it's a sci-fi flick. There's a couple of them that I bought. Seems all right. Next is Date Night, because I had to get a comedy uh, by Sean Le uh, Levi or Levy or Le Levy, I think is his uh, last name. And, um, you know, it looks cute. Mark Wahlberg's in it. I did not even know that. I just saw that. So that means I got three Mark Wahlberg movies this uh, this go. Uh, and you'll see a couple of them later. But yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Final Destination 3. You know, I had to pick this up because I have Final Destination 2 on Blu-ray. Now I have 3. I need, I need all the rest of them. But, you know, figured I'd, I'd buy that. I actually really, really like this one. Um, I, I love amusement park movies and stuff. Um, so, especially horror. So, there you go. Sandra Bullock favorites. The Heat and Speed. Um, I have Speed on a... Um, what is it? Uh, I, ha I have Speed on a... Um, Blue, like on a Blu-ray. Um, the heck? Five commentaries on the heat, including Paul Feig and Mystery Science Theater 3000? Interesting. That might be what I do. I may listen to the commentary for the heat with the Mystery of Science Theater 3000. I wonder if they, they do, it, <coughs> do it just like that can't do it with their like robots or anything but that'd be interesting have to check that out <laughs> all right uh jupiter ascending another um uh another sci-fi movie and another visual movie um i i picked this up just like i picked up life of pi because i haven't seen it but i've heard it's like visually amazing um yeah you know includes seven earth shattering special features uh, it's the, ha, uh, that is funny. There's, they're written and directed by the Wachowskis. Um, you know why that's funny is because one of them became, uh, originally became a girl, you know, like changed their sex. And then the other one did it too, which I thought was very fucking weird. Um, so at one point, even though they had changed their name to like Lana and, Lola or something, I don't know what the fuck they, you know, Wachowski. Uh, they were still known as the Wachowski brothers on there. And so I was talking to a guy I know and I said, um, I told him like, why don't they just change it to Wachowski sisters? Now it's just the Wachowskis. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, it's just strange. I mean, look, I can understand if one of them does that and they're just like, you know, that's, dude, that's awesome. You know, way to go. You know, like if that's really what you feel, but then when both of them do it, it's just weird to me. I don't know. Like, it's like, how does that even happen? Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, nothing against it. Nothing against it, just saying. It's just strange that both of them decided to do that. All right, anyway, next is The Page Master with Macaulay Culkin. Now, Macaulay Culkin, as a kid, was, um, I want to say this was past his, like, prime of when he was a kid. This, is, this was getting to the territory of, like, we're starting to get sick of you, 
Culkin, go away. Um, and the Peach Master, I, I, I remember it being this, like, very fun movie. Um, somebody was talking to me about it the other day and wanted to know about it, and I forgot who. And now I'm not going to probably remember, and I'm not going to be able to bring it. So if you are a friend of mine in person, and you're watching this by some chance or whatever, <clears throat> the page, I have the Page Master on, um, on Blu-ray now. So if you, if people want to borrow it, you know, at some point I can do that. All right. Um, another Mark Wahlberg, well, two Mark Wahlberg movies are going to be back to back. It's Painting Game, Mark Wahlberg and The Rock. Um, I loved this movie. I remember watching it going, this is awesome. Apparently it's just the Blu-ray doesn't have the um, DVD, but it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with just the uh, just the Blu-ray of this because that's all I wanted. If it were the DVD and I just realized that, I would have been pissed. Um, but yeah, this movie was great. Michael Bay is is a wonderful wonderful director at times. Like, you know, of course I'm getting tired, kind of tired of his a lot of his um. Transformers, like, I'm like, move on, dude, do something more fun, like, do Pain and Gain again, do something like that, like, make it visual, The Rock, dude, Armageddon, Pearl Harbor, I know people, like, hate on those movies or whatever, but they fucking are awesome, they're just big, huge blockbusters to me, like, they were just fun movies, popcorn flicks, you know, stuff to watch when you're, you know, on a rainy Saturday and you got nothing to do, just put on one of those movies and just shut off your brain. That's what I say. The uh, Rockstar, um, starring Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. Um, it's got commentary by Stephen Herrick. And does Painting Gain have commentary? I want to say... It does not... Well, I guess not. That's kind of a bummer, because Michael Bay, I believe, has done commentary for, like, uh, Bad Boys and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, The Rock Star has got commentary by the director. and I, I've i seen bits and pieces of this movie, but I haven't seen the whole thing yet. And I'm just kind of excited to, to check it out and have fun with it. I think it would be, I think it would be a fun movie. John Stockwell directed, or wrote it. Stephen Herrick directed it. And I think Stephen Herrick, if I'm correct, either directed or wrote Mighty Ducks. I don't think he did both. I think there was a writer and a director, the Mighty Ducks. Anyway, so next is a double feature. So technically I've got, um, 22 movies because I think two of them were double features the heat and um and speed which I already have speed so it doesn't really I don't even think it counts in my collection as having that extra one but also Troy and Alexander revisited um the final cut uh which I, I think there was one time where they have like the movie um and then they had, but I don't know if it's on Blu-ray at all. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to pick this up again if I can find one that has like all three cuts to it. Because um, I think there's like a theatrical cut, like a first cut and, and this cut. You know, like there's like the ultimate cut, the, you know, all this other crap. So I'm kind of excited to see. And then this director's cut with Wolfgang Peterson's cut for Troy. Um, yeah, so both of these movies, uh, look, I've never seen them, <laughs> not yet. I, I, like, I have so many movies to watch, and then I just end up watching, like, tonight, I, like I said, tonight I'm probably gonna, like, listen to the commentary for The Heat, you know, because, why not? Um, a very... Christmas or Harold and Kumar Christmas. Uh, we're almost done with these, and then I've got my Best Buy, and then I'm done. Period. So awesome, but yeah, very uh, Harold and Kumar Christmas. It's 
you know what, this movie is goofy and silly and fun. And I enjoy, I always enjoy those guys. I enjoy Harold and Kumar. Um, Neil Patrick Harris steals the show all the time on this. I mean, they even put him in the freaking front of it and everything. So that's pretty cool. Extra dope edition. Um, apparently it's an extended cut of it. Um, so, anyway, sounds fun. Again, like, rewatching that eventually. <laughs> um, and we bought a zoo, um, which I'm surprised I didn't own yet, but I know I don't own it yet. Um, it's got commentary and stuff like that. Do we have yeah, three? Okay, it's got all three discs. So that's pretty cool. It's got a digital copy as well as uh, DVD and Blu-ray. And, you know. So that's awesome. Um, it's directed by Cameron Crowe. I'm a huge Cameron Crowe fan. If you know anything about me, I'm, I, I love um, Almost Famous. It's one of my favorite movies. I love Jerry Maguire too, but almost famous, man. Just something about that movie just always warms my heart. And We Bought a Zoo is really good. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's based on a, um, it's based on novel. Um, and it's supposedly like a, a true story of this guy who actually went out and bought a zoo, um, that his family lived in and stuff like that. And I mean, it, it's just a fun movie. Um, feel good, you know, time. And I forgot Scarlett Johansson was in it. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to rewatch that at some point. I, I really did like it. All right. So those were all my $1.24 pickups. Uh, so like I said, the Dollar General is going to be happening until you yeah, have their sale until Wednesday. Um, the day before Thanksgiving. It makes total sense because... Um, it's basically their pre Black Friday. And because I don't think they're doing anything with the Blu-rays on Black Friday. So, you know, you can go somewhere else if you want to go get movies, um, to Best Buy or, or whatever. In fact, we're going to get into that in a second is I got three movies at Best Buy. Once again, we're going to do an alphabetical order, but I went, I wanted to get the, wanted to look through the like bins, um, for six dollar movies, see if they had anything new. And apparently they um did. Uh so I went out today and bought Batman Forever, which they had Batman and Robin, but um I decided to get this for now and then I'll get Batman and Robin soon. Um uh, probably soon soon, you know, in the next Maybe next few days, um, if it's still in the, the bin when I go on Black Friday, I might, I may just pick it up, even though it's a normal 650 or whatever it is. I'm, I'm gonna pick it up because, um, I want to have all the Batman movies. Um, but I just didn't pick it up this time because Batman Forever is actually my favorite. Batman and Robin is so freaking stupid. It is horrible. It is the worst Batman movie, I would have to say. If I have to rank all the Batman like live action movies, I'd say Batman and Robin's my least favorite. Um, and that even goes into like Batman versus Superman. Like I, I can tolerate Batman versus Superman way more than I can tolerate Batman and Robin. Just Batman and Robin is bad. Uh, but it's got an all star cast that like I still love, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman and and, and Alicia Silverstone. I mean, just ugh. so I can't wait to see that. But this movie. Um, I'll tell you, when I went to see this in the theater when I was like a kid, I was in middle school and I was supposed to go on a date with a girl to see it because um, she would always listen to the Seal song or whatever. And then she canceled on me and said she didn't really want to go on the date or whatever. And so I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to go with my friends. So my friends and I went and we watched this movie and we laughed and had a good time. And then there was like... I remember there's a Sega Genesis video game that I went and rented at my video store. And you could rent video games at a video store instead of going to a red box to, to rent them. So, anyway, just Batman Forever video game. I thought that was pretty neat. 
Beverly's hit Beverly Hills Cop. This is a this is a classic. Um, don't think I have this movie already. I did not check and see or whatever. But when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I have it on. I have it on DVD. Like I have the whole three of them, all three of them on DVD. But you know, never hurts to have an extra copy on Blu-ray. Um, we're just gonna look in high definition and and stuff. I want the second and third one on Blu-ray though. Because third one especially, because once again, it's an amusement park one. It's also directed by John Landis. Um, second one, I think, was Tony Scott. So, like, they had some amazing directors doing these, like, comedies. I thought that was pretty neat. Next one after that is the last one, I guess. Mortal Kombat. Another one from my childhood that um, I have this, like, really big thing for. Because I used to go to the... Uh, local theater that was like, you know, right by my house and I'd walk there with my friends and we'd watch this movie and we watched Street Fire and we watched tons of movies and I just always remember going there and then coming home. Uh, walking home and, you know, cutting through the woods and doing all that stuff. I mean, it, it was just a remarkable fun time. And then, so this movie kind of brings back great memories for me. Well, that's it. That is it. Um, if you guys uh, enjoyed this movie, or this movie, god dang, it's t I, am, I am super tired. It is like 2 o'clock in the morning. I gotta wake up at like 9-ish. I might push it to 9.30 or 10 or something because I uh, gotta get up and I'm, I'm thinking about going back to that, that place tomorrow before work. So... I gotta go uh, back to Dollar General and, and see if I can get uh, those movies because I saw a couple of them that I really, really wanted. And they'll be on my next um, my next one, which I think my next pickup video is going to be like the day after um, uh, Black Friday. So it's going to show my Black Friday haul. Um, so, all right. Well, anyway, I hope you guys uh, liked what you saw here, all these different movies that I have. Um, if there's a movie that... And, and the reason why I wanted to do this was because I know a lot of people are, are like me, like to go and see what other people picked up um, at these stores to see what's at the stores. And so like stuff like We Bought a Zoo, you could go, you know, you'll know, oh, wow, that might be at the store. If I, that might be something I'm interested in buying. Like uh, Cinema Sickness was talking and he had actually recommended Rockstar. Um, and so I was like, mm, I've never, I've never seen it, but I, I know of it and, and stuff, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be good. Uh, the rest of the stuff I, I, I saw in there and I was like, you know, this could be kind of fun. So I picked a lot of these things up, but I have no idea if they're, if any of these are going to be any good. So, well, uh, thank you guys for checking this out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a, give me, give me a like, um, and subscribe. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.